In this video, we'll show you how to include the graphic assets that you downloaded in the previous video in your project and generate the launcher icons with Android Studio. Let's take a look at the launcher icons that were shipped with the template when we created our project with the wizard. An Android app's launcher icons are stored in the MipMap folder under the Resources folder. So let's expand the MipMap directory and take a look at the contents. Here we can see several PNG files. Let's double click on the one tagged with HTPI. And now let's open the IC launcher tagged with triple X HTPI. We can see that it's the same launcher icon, just larger. In other words, the template for our Android app came with multiple versions of the same launcher icon, but these icons differ in their resolution. DPI stands for dots per inch and the H prefix stands for high. M, as you might have guessed, stands for medium. And triple X stands for very high because the team at Google lacks imagination in their naming. My bet is that larger icons going forward will be in a new category, quadruple X HDPI, because that's how things are going. Now let's take a look at the official Android documentation on launcher icons and see what it has to say about this. There we can see under size and format that the triple X HDPI icons should be 192 pixels tall and 192 pixels wide. In contrast, an LDPI launcher icon is only 36 by 36 pixels. But this begs the question, why do we need so many different sizes for the same launcher icon within our app in the first place? And the answer is, is that when we publish an app, we don't know what kind of device the app is going to run on. Someone with a high-end, non-exploding Samsung phone could download and try to run our app, or alternatively, my grandma with her crummy five-year-old HTC could be trying to run it as well. Point being, the app needs to look good on both a large high-resolution display as well as a small low-resolution screen. And this is why we ship multiple versions of our icons with our app and then let the Android operating system of the device that the app is running on choose which one to use. Now it would be an absolute pain to try and create all the app icons individually and add them to our project one by one. Lucky for us, Android Studio will come to the rescue. Right click on the res directory and then go to new image asset. Select launcher icons as the icon type, leave the file name as it is, and then for asset type, pick image. Now we will point Android Studio to the location of a large version of the launcher icon. Click on the three dots and navigate to your downloads folder. Here you should have extracted the Dicey Launch Icon Master PNG. As soon as we hit OK to confirm our choice, we see that all the previews of the launcher icons have been updated. Now we can also check out this file directly in our downloads folder. There you can see that the large version of this icon is 512 by 512 pixels, and this will serve as the base for creating all the smaller launcher icons. Click Next in Android Studio, and on this screen, Android Studio is telling us where in our project these launcher icons are going to go. And you can see here that the launcher icons will all sit in the MipMap subdirectories of the Resources folder. The largest icon will be in the mipmap x HDPI folder. And the smallest icon will be in the mipmap-mdpi folder. The text here is highlighted in red because Android Studio is warning us that we are about to overwrite and replace the existing default launcher icons from the template. And this is because we are using the exact same name for those launcher icons, but that's fine. Hit finish and then we're done. Now let's verify that this actually worked. In the MipMap directory in the project pane, open one of the launcher icons to double check that it's definitely the new icon. Now if we hadn't overwritten our launcher icons but specified a different name instead, we'd have to open another file called the Android Manifest and point our app to the new launcher icons here by the file name. Now it's time to add the remaining graphics to our app. Navigate to the folder with the graphic assets that you downloaded and there you should see several drawable folders. A drawable HDPI folder, a drawable no DPI folder, and a drawable XHDPI folder. While the MipMap folders contain the launcher icons, the drawable folders contain the graphics that are used inside the app. Let's have a look inside the drawable XHDPI and the drawable HDPI folders. 
There we should see six dice images and the casino logo. The drawable no DPI folder on the other hand has the velvet background image for the app. All we have to do now is add these folders to our project. Our Android app will only know about the images that are located inside its resources directory. So we need to move the graphics from our downloads folder to the directory of the app. So how do we know what the correct folder is for our Android app? In the project pane inside Android Studio, right click on the res directory and choose reveal in finder if you're using a Mac. If you're using a Windows machine, this part of the menu will read show in Explorer. Now click on show in Explorer to bring up the project folder for the Android app on your hard drive. Make sure you've got the res directory open and then simply drag and drop the three drawable folders into it. So now the res directory should have four different drawable folders. One without an extension, one with HDPI and one with the XHDPI extension as well as one with the no DPI extension. Back in Android Studio, this project pane should refresh automatically and Android Studio will now recognize that the new graphics have been added to the project. If we explode the drawable folder, we should see two DICE1 images listed, an HDPI DICE1 image and an XHDPI DICE1 image. Again, these are the same DICE images, but they're just scaled for different resolutions. Brilliant. Now we've added all the graphics for the app in the directories where Android expects them to be. We've added the new launcher icons to the mipmap folder and we've got the in-app graphics sitting in the drawable folder. Now we're ready to start designing our app. I'll see you in the next video.